welcome back to the vlog and hello from Barcelona. So the weather is getting a little bit chilly now and before it gets too cold, we're gonna go on a road trip to explore the regions outside of Barcelona. And we have quite a few activities planned, so here is what went down. So first stop of our road trip, we are here in Girona. And Girona is one of the popular filming locations of Game of Thrones and since all of us are fans of the show, we decided to go on a mini tour to explore the city. You can't see me. <laughs> so I'm quite ashamed to say this but I haven't been to church in a long time. But uh, to be honest, if my church looked like this, right, I'll be going a lot more often. I'll just... We're actually heading to the to our Airbnb, which is a 14th century farmhouse. It's going to be the first time we're staying in something like that, so it's going to be quite cool. Where are you taking us, Mr. Podis? Uh, I'm taking you out to sell. Uh, Check not your phone. very much. Not bad, la. I think you gained a bit of weight. La, so. <laughs> <laughs> Hello! This is the craziest Airbnb I've ever been in. This building was constructed in like what the 13th century and it's been here for about 30 generations and somehow we found it on Airbnb and the building is so old on the outside the insides are all made of like bricks and stones and it really feels like I'm in some kind of architecture digest kind of thing. This space is, is ginormous, uh, very easy to get lost in this house. I'm really lost, I don't know how to go back to my room. There's two donkeys, did you see them? Now Airbnb comes with two donkeys and they're actually pretty friendly. In a weird way, it's quite nice that these two fellas greet you every morning once you come out of the house. So it is a cold and misty morning but Kim and I are very excited because we are going to be taking our first ever hot air balloon ride. We are going to be above the mountains, above the clouds and I am so excited. And yeah, the views are going to be great. We're down 2,000 meters above sea level. <laughs> I can't believe this. Everything looks like a painting. It's, it's great. Ten years later, I'll be like. <laughs> Remember that time I took a hot air balloon in Spain? Your core memory that I will remember forever. <laughs> the agenda for today is a pretty exciting one. We are going skydiving today. Me and Hendrik are super excited. We love this kind of thing, but the car is a little bit quiet today. The guys behind, they're usually the noisiest, but I don't know what's up there. I couldn't sleep last night. I didn't eat breakfast at all. It was on my mind the whole time. Uh, yeah, I guess this is the part that people don't usually see on the video to see all the glam stuff, the cool stuff, but you don't see what's going on behind the scenes. We are scared of these kinds of things. We always encourage people to step out of their comfort zone and even though, you know, shit like this makes us horrified, do it anyway because the outcome is always going to be so much better than what you're going to be. It's going to be him just not having a good time. <laughs> oh shit! I see the plane! <laughs> oh, my butt is clenched so tight. It's a beautiful day to go skydiving. I'm having a good time. It's a beautiful day to go for a buffet. <laughs> <laughs>
Oh, I'm good. Great. We've always been trying to encourage people to step out of their comfort zones and to live braver. And I think today was an opportunity for both of us to try that, even though we are both so scared. But we did it. And I'm gonna go pee because I haven't. I've been holding it for so long. I told my instructor that falling is my greatest fear, and she's like, "Ha, you're gonna have a great time." And I was like. You're gonna have a great time! <laughs> Sweet Caroline! Ba, ba, ba. We have arrived at Frigress and one of the things that we had to do was to visit the Salvador Dali Museum. After all, the famous artist was actually born in this town. He's known for his wacky works of art, right? And you can just tell from the outside of the building. I mean, the building is in the shape of eggs and it just looks like a theme park. And then you enter the building and there's wacky figurines and sculptures everywhere. Yeah, it's pretty cool. You just take some time to take it all in. So we then drove a few hours to the port city of Tarragona. Many ancient ruins here still remain from its time as a Roman colony and one cool place we checked out was the aqueduct. It was an ancient bridge used to transport water. And right outside our Airbnb was the Mercat di Tarragona. So lots of stores here for fresh produce and traditional foods. And we stocked up on the food here because we had a long day ahead and that's because we were heading to not one but two theme parks. No fucking way I'm taking that. Clarence isn't looking too good. Uh, <coughs> all in a day's work. Uh, yeah man, back to work. We're now heading to Montserrat, which is known for its beautiful landscapes, the Abbey of Montserrat, and one of Europe's oldest choirs leading back to the 14th century. Oh! And there we see, oh! Whoa! Sorry for the meltdown, the drive there was just really really picturesque. So first thing we did at Montserrat was to head over to the Montserrat Monastery to check out the boys choir. That was absolutely beautiful. So these boys are in trouble, 6, 7 and they go all the way up to like 13, 14, basically until their voice breaks loud. It might sound like I'm exaggerating, but oh, angelic choir, it was beautiful, literal chills. And the last thing on our Spanish road trip was to hike up the highest point in Montserrat, San Jeroni Mountain. We just saw two mountain goats. They are much bigger than I thought they were. That was very. Oh, there's another one. Do you see oh. behind the bush? Yes, yes, yes. There's another one. Oh, the tribe. And at the top, we were expecting gorgeous views, but I guess Mother Nature had other plans for us. Visibility is about 10, 15 meters. No wonder there's no people here today. Over here, you've got our beautiful landscapes, mountains, and all that. You just gotta close your eyes and imagine it, and then bam, there it is. I'm trying to blow the mist away, Kim. Blow the... <laughs> Just now, right, it was so cloudy, you thought like all hope was lost, but we, we persisted and then it was worth it. I'm so glad we stuck to it because it cleared up in the end. We had like a nice 15 20 minute window where all the mist went away, so very elusive this view. Yeah. Must be very lucky to come and find it. And yeah, so even though we had the view for only 20 minutes, it made the whole hike worth it. And with that, we've come to the end of the video. Thanks for watching. Drop a like if you enjoyed it and we'll see you in the next video. Lucky no one steal the camera.